Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about Breach Presentation. Presentation is the part of the fetus that occupies the lower uterine segment. I have done a separate video on the basics of mechanism of labor. You can check that out for more details on presentation. Breach Presentation is when the fetal buttocks occupies the lower uterine segment. It is the commonest ball presentation. It occurs in 4% of term labor and in 25% of preterm labor. Now let us see about the types of breach presentation. There are three types of breach presentation. They are frank breach, complete breach and footling breach. In frank breach, but the buttocks presents with the legs extended. In complete breach, the legs are flexed so that feet present beside the buttocks and in footling breach, one or both feet present below the buttocks. As you can see in this picture, in frank breach, the legs are extended. In complete breach, the legs are flexed. And in footling breach, one or both the legs are present below the buttocks. Now let us see about the etiology of breach presentation. Most of the cases of breach presentation are due to idiopathic causes. That is, the reason is not known. However, there are few risk factors. The maternal risk factors include grand multiparity. In this case, due to uterine laxity, the fetus has an increased likelihood of changing position. Uterine abnormalities like bicornuate or septate uterus can also lead to breach presentation. Pelvic tumors or bony abnormalities can lead to breach presentation because they prevent engagement of the head. Full bladder in labor can also lead to breach presentation. Now let us see about the placental causes of breach presentation. Placenta previa, oligohydramnios and polyhydramnios are the various risk factors for breach presentation. The fetal causes include multiple pregnancy, fetal abnormality and prematurity. Now let us see about the examination findings in breach presentation. The presenting part will be wider than normal the harder head will be felt in the fundus of the uterus and it will be palatable. In case of extended leg breach, the head will be in the midline compared to flexed breach. In case of flexed breach, the head will be more lateral. Now let us see about the ultrasonogram findings of breach presentation. USG should be done to confirm the diagnosis, to determine the type of breach, to determine liker volume, placental site, estimated fetal weight and to detect any fetal abnormality in breach presentation. It is important to remember that even after clinical examination and ultrasonogram, approximately one third of breach presentation are undiscovered until during labor. Now let us see about the management of a breach presentation. If breach presentation is diagnosed antenatally, external cephalic version can be done. It is a technique to manipulate the lie of the fetus into a cephalic presentation with the aid of tocolysis to relax the uterus. It is usually performed after 37 weeks and the success rate is around 50%. I have done a separate video on external cephalic version. You can check that out. If breach presentation persists after external cephalic version, elective cesarean section can be done. Some obstetricians prefer to do Virginal delivery in multiparous women if pelvis is normal and the estimated fetal weight is 2500 to 3500 grams. Nowadays, breech delivery is becoming less common. Now, let us see about breech delivery, that is, vaginal delivery of breech. For vaginal delivery of breech, the labor should be spontaneous, augmentation should be given, and epidural anesthesia is preferred. The fetus should be monitored continuously by placing a scalp electrode to the buttock. After full dilatation of the cervix, the breech must be allowed to descend to the perineum after which episiotomy is done. As the breech is delivering, the sacrum is guided gently to the anterior position. This is done by placing the operator's fingers over the iliac crest of the fetus and the thumbs are placed over the lumbar spine of the fetus. 
As you can see in this picture, the sacrum is guided gently to the anterior position and the thumb are placed over the lumbar spine of the fetus. The fingers are placed over the iliac crest to help in guiding the sacrum anteriorly. After this, the breech, legs and abdomen are allowed to deliver spontaneously. Now, there are a few maneuvers in breech delivery. They are Pinard's maneuver and Lowset's maneuver. In Pinard's maneuver, the legs are flexed to assist delivery. This is useful in case of frank breech in which the legs are extended. As you can see, this is a fetus in frank breech. The legs are extended. So, you use Pinard's maneuver to flex the leg to assist delivery. Now, let us see about Lowset's maneuver. In Lowset's maneuver, pushing is increased until the scapulae are visible. Then, rotation of the trunk is done to assist delivery of the shoulders and arms. As you can see, pushing is encouraged until the scapulae are visible. Once the scapulae are visible, the trunk is rotated to assist delivery of the shoulders and arms. Now let us see about the delivery of head in case of breech presentation. The head can be delivered manually or by using pipas forceps. If delivered manually, it is known as Mauricio's Smilly Wheat Maneuver. This picture shows Mauricio Smilly Wheat Maneuver in which the head is delivered manually. This picture shows usage of piper forceps for the delivery of head in breech delivery. Now let us see about the complications of breech presentation. Breech presentation is a high risk pregnancy and it is associated with an increased perinatal morbidity and mortality. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my obstetrics playlist. Thank you.